Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this illustration watermelon illustration and it's pretty easy and simple to follow so let's get into it before we start, we need to open a color tab so it's easier for us to edit the color and then a layer tab if we need something to uh, layer so we can go to that tab and this one is align and distribute tab for alignment and distribution okay so we before we start we can move the canvas and we choose create stars and polygon tool to make triangle so we need to set up to regular polygon with the corners 3 and make sure uh, rounded 0 and randomize 0 so holding control and shift we can make a symmetrical triangle a perfect symmetrical triangle after you make that triangle we need to make the bottom part to be rounded like this okay to make that select the triangle and then object to path and then edit path by nodes uh, hold control and using left click mouse you can drag the bottom part to be rounded like this and make a little adjustment if you feel that's good enough you can deselect everything okay after that we need to make the second part of watermelon to make that we hold ctrl and d to duplicate that and i'm gonna color it yellow so i can make adjustment better i'm gonna bring it up by holding ctrl and left click mouse then I'm gonna duplicate that again, color it red, and make the top part. As you can see, if I'm not holding control, it's gonna be a free hand movement. And if I'm holding control, it is limited by vertical and horizontal axis only movement so i'm holding control to make it symmetrical with the other layer okay after that i'm gonna color it as i use with the watermelon and if you want to have the same color as me you can copy the color code right in the right bottom of the fill and stroke tab right there if you want to copy the green part and then i'm gonna color the next part the top part i'm just gonna use color picker right there and we have the same color if you want to make adjustment you can slide to right or left the lightness and the saturation as you can see right here we need to fix that thing so to fix the mess we're gonna duplicate the green part and then by holding shift we select the white part also after we select both of them we go to path and then intersection and we do the same thing for the red part go to path and intersection okay i'm gonna make a little adjustment right there uh, by moving the red part a little bit higher
after that we are gonna make seed for the watermelon to make that using a circle tool and by holding control and shift we're gonna have a perfect circle and then we go to edit notepads and we're gonna make adjustment right there we use make selected nodes vertical so we have those two sides equally the same and then we're gonna use the same color you can copy that color right there there is the code and then we're gonna move it to the watermelon and we're gonna make a little adjustment don't forget to hold ctrl and shift while scaling it down and then duplicate that by holding ctrl t duplicate that and as you can see we need to fill all of that so to make it easier you need to hold the object uh, by holding left mouse and then we're gonna hold space bar to the place that we want to copy the seeds okay and i think that's pretty good amount of seed and we're gonna make a little adjustment by double clicking the object we can make rotation so i'm gonna rotate left or right right there we're gonna block all of them and then go to align and distribute tab and use center to make the shadow part use rectangle tool and create a big rectangle to cover half of the watermelon part and make adjustments so only half of the watermelon is covered after that uh, bring the rectangle to the bottom by clicking that icon and then select the rectangle and ctrl D to duplicate that and select the green part and ctrl T to duplicate that and then hold shift and uh, click both of them go to path and choose intersection after that use color picker to have green color and we're gonna scale it down to make it darker because it is gonna be the shadow for the watermelon or you can bring down the saturation to make adjustment right here and then lower that one two three so click that three times and then do the same thing for the white part I'm gonna duplicate that holding shift and 
we select both of them and then go to path intersection and use color picker to have the same white color and we bring it down a little bit so we need to be careful using this because it is a little bit red I don't really want it to be pinkish just want it to be darker and then we uh, click that twice and then duplicate once again for the rectangle and duplicate the red part after that select the red part and the rectangle intersection and we have it after that use color picker and we make a little adjustment for the shadow after that lower selection once and we have it and delete the rectangle part and we have pretty much the same watermelon as I show you in the first place and I hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye